Hello everybody, my name is Adam Warks. I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I'm here to tell you a story about the world's greatest wrist wristwatch. This is a Casio G-Shock Frogman GW200MS. Um, I bought this watch when I was in the Navy. I was 23, 22, 23 years old, and I was stationed in Virginia, and I used to daily wear a Nike Triax Speed 50. It's a gray, black, and yellow watch. I was really big into cycling and Lance Armstrong at the time. And I needed a watch to, to dive with and to daily wear. And it needed to be very minimal and not too flashy. And, but the other thing is it needed a backlight so I can read it at night or if we were ever out and we didn't have a light source. And I was wearing my Nike one day and my um, OIC noticed that I was wearing this Nike watch. He's like, you should get rid of that. It won't survive our deployments. It's like, what are you talking about? I've, I've used this watch for a few years now and it's done fine. He's like, nah, it's not going to make it. So he took my, my watch and he threw it up in the air, not too high, and hit the ground and it broke. The strap ended up breaking off of it and he used this kind of proprietary attachment mechanism. It didn't really use pins and it broke. And then he took my watch or his watch off, which was a G-Shock, and he threw it as hard as he could against this wall. And it just bounced right off, no damage to it at all. And picked it back up and put it on. And he said, I could do that a hundred times and it'll still last. Well, now I had a broken watch. And I needed a replacement I went inside and we had a computer is very slow and started researching uh, G-Shock started looking them up started looking up information and I found that they made a, a Frogman series which was a dive watch and a G-Shock built into one so I went into the exchange which was the store on the military base and I asked do you do you have a Casio Frogman the lady was like yeah it's right over here she pulled this out of the case and it was really nice I tried it on I liked it it's big it's a big watch it's not meant to be small you know it's a it's a casio g-shock and she's like it's 300 dollars. yeah that's that's quite a bit at the time that was you know a, a little under half of of my paycheck at the time for two weeks she's like well tomorrow all casio watches are going to be 99 dollars um did you not get the ad and i never got the ads she's like yeah here it is and open it up and said all Casio G-Shocks price $120 are going to be $99. Anything above that is going to be 10% off. I was like, well, it says 10% off, so this will be 10% off, so $30 off. Oh, no, 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 no. Tomorrow this will be $300, or this will be $99. I was like, okay, I can't pass this up. Are you going to be working tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be here. I came back the next day, and she was, um, she was working. She rang it up, came up 10% off. It's like, you said yesterday this was going to be $99. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember that. Rang it up for $99 and I walked out with this. Wore it as I walked out. And I wore this watch every day for my last two years when I was in the Navy. I wore it diving. I wore it on deployments. I wore it on the weekends. I wore it everywhere that I went. This was the world's greatest watch. It's solar powered. It's got a backlight. It does everything that I needed to do plus more. And this is why it's the world's greatest watch. Right now, yes, I'm wearing an Omega Speedmaster because it's Speedy Tuesday, but this watch will still be my favorite watch and the best watch that I ever own. As you can see, the strap has broken on it from years of wear and tear on it, but it's still working. It still tells time. It still tells time well. I still wear it when I do research. I still wear it when I need a non-compromised watch to go outside and get completely beat up and destroyed. And that is why this will be my favorite watch. Me and this watch have more stories together than you could ever imagine. Thank you very much.